Hey there everybody, this is Iron. I'm back with another new little indie game. This one's called Prosperity. Now this one has been on my to review list for an embarrassingly large amount of time. My apologies to the devs and thank them for their patience while I finally managed to find the time to play this. Um, this is not a first look video because I have been playing this game for about three hours, I would say. Um, it is a very slow paced game. So on the one hand, I can't do a first look video, and I don't think a first look video would be very useful, because you don't get a lot done in the first 20 to 30 minutes of the game. Um, on the other hand, I don't feel like I've gotten far enough into the game to do a full-on review of, of the thing as a whole. I can't judge how it's going to progress, because I'm sure there's still a lot left to it. Uh, so what I decided to do is to just show you sort of a mid-game gameplay video. I'll load up my Hamlet here. Um, we'll just pause the game. I will make a note that this is made by a small international group of indie devs. There's some artists, all the art is original artwork, uh, the music is uh, original music for the game and stuff, very nice. Um, so this is a game about managing resources. It looks very complicated at first glance, but I will tell you when you first start it is uh, much simpler. The interface is much more simplified and it gradually gets more complex as you play and there are some tutorial bits uh, here and there, which help, uh, but it did take me a little bit of tinkering to figure out how to do some stuff. So I'm at a point now uh, where I've got 105 workers. If I get 195 more, I'll meet one of the conditions to upgrade my hamlet to, I guess, a town is next? Uh, oh, village. There we are. I also need a garden and an inn and eight aesthetics, which I don't have yet. Most of this stuff is not there at the start, so you get introduced to these things one at a time. There's also a bit of a story. So, uh, you were taken into this town as a stranger, and then some bandits came and ripped it apart and burned it down, and almost everything got destroyed, and now you're trying to rebuild from scratch. So you start with almost nothing, and you're trying to slowly rebuild. So in this screen, uh, you can make buildings, and your builders will slowly build them. Um, I can only have two builders. By default, there's only two builder slots. If I want to make more builders, I gotta come in here and build a builder's hut, which, you know what, I can easily make now. It's, a, it's, it's, it's impossible to make it at the start. At this point, I have enough resources that I can make it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then I'll be able to have six more builders so that we can get these buildings done a little bit more quickly, because some of these take a really long time as it is. Uh, is a granary to hold more food? We're good on the granary for now. In any case, I don't have access to stone blocks yet. I am currently building my very first stone quarry, which will give us access to stone blocks. You can unlock some of these things by upgrading your town, by meeting these criteria, and you can upgrade some of these things uh, by going through the tech tree. Stone quarry was unlocked by unlocking something in the tech tree. Trying to give sort of a, a simplified overview of this. There's a lot to it. There is a lot to it. If you love these kind of detailed management games, um, you really might like this. Uh, stockpiles are for all the stuff. I've already had to build a second one, and I don't have a warehouse yet. I think I can't... Oh, I could build a warehouse if I got some more lumber, but I think I'm good for now. For now, I'm good. Then there's the food buildings, gatherers, hut, hunting lodge, and orchard. And I think at some point we'll be able to unlock farming and stuff like that. Different types of houses, different types of industrial buildings to get resources and process them, and the special buildings, which are mostly used to upgrade your town to the next level. Within these, there are often upgrades. If you click this, I can see all the houses that I have, and these are the available upgrades. Now, sometimes some of them just aren't available yet. Like, again, I don't have stone blocks yet, and I do have money now, which is good. So I could, I could build a second floor to some of these houses, and that would... Oh, I don't have the stone blocks yet, though. Once you get the stone blocks, you can build a second floor rather than building a second house. And that would mean uh, we get plus five housing so we can get five more workers without taking up more land. So I'm telling you folks, this is a rabbit hole. There's 4,255 space available. So right now I'm not too worried about land use, but eventually I probably will be, right? I'm gonna have to manage that at some point. So I might wanna build the houses up rather than building more houses eventually. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's all you need to know about this. The workers tab, you can move workers around however you need to. I can stick some more in the orchard if I want to. I'm not gonna do that because right now we need the wood. Um, there's different types of food. As far as I can tell, it doesn't matter how many different types of food you have generally. The only thing that seems to affect is your awesomeness rating. So the more variety of food you have, uh, the higher the awesomeness seems to go. Um, but other than that, people seem to be fine with just eating apples every day or whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the ambient sound, because all it seems to do is randomly drop coins every once in a while. 
That's the only sound effect that I've heard, and it confuses me because it makes me think something's happened, but the game is paused. Nothing is happening. Uh, I've got all of these resources here, uh, but yeah, basically, depending on the buildings you have, there will be different limits for how many workers can be working on a particular thing, and you can focus on getting the resources that you need to make more buildings or upgrades, or, and this is something I've just unlocked, uh, the trade. So every now and then, there was a story event where uh, some traders came through, and they said, hey, we can build a trading post here, and you can get trade requests. So when trade requests come in, they come in right here, and I can read them and see they want 4,400 wood, and they wanted, I think, three shipments or four shipments of that much wood over a course of time, and then uh, for each shipment, they give me this much, I guess, gold. AG is gold, yeah? Um, which is great, because I need gold to build some of the buildings that I'm making. So there's some economy simulation in here as well. Uh, and these were shipments that I could absolutely make without any trouble, so I said yes to those, and I believe I can also buy resources. Yeah, I can also buy resources if I need them. So I'm not, uh, I'm no longer restricted to what I can make. I can now sell what I make and then buy other stuff, which is very cool. Okay, here's the tech tree right now. I don't have any points to spend. It's a little bit opaque what needs to be done in order to get these points. The civil points are clear. Every time I build a building, it says I get civil points. The agriculture points seem to be dependent on people working in agricultural buildings. The only ones we have now are orchards. So I'm trying to get as many people as possible working in the orchards to try to get the experience so that I can unlock uh, more. Like I want to get the vegetable growth and then I can start building vegetable farms which I would really like to do, but I don't know how long it will be before I get a point for that, because I haven't found any way to check on that. If there is a way, it's too well hidden, and I don't know where it is. Uh, the council is where you can change your policies. These, I think, are also unlocked via technology. So I have unlocked a technology for clearing the forest, where if this is turned on, hunters will clear the forest, so hunting is faster, but it increases the chance of forest fires. So I have it turned off right now because we had a forest fire a little while ago. I guess it's dry. I don't really know. It says during dry season. I don't know if that's just summer or what, but I have it off for now. I don't really need it anyway. So that's all of these tabs. And down in the bottom left, there's even more. I've got this ledger. And again, most of this stuff isn't there when you first start playing. It, sh it won't be this intimidating when you first look, I promise. This gives me an overall, uh, uh, well, it's a ledger. Um, an overall summary of input and output, right? How much have we spent? How much have we produced? And I can set how many days I want to show that for. It also shows here, and I can use this to say how many days I want to show it for. I have it set at two right now. So that means that every two days, uh, it, will, it will show me what the difference has been over the last two days. So I can see whether we're having an increase over the short term or a decrease. Or I can set it up to say 10 days, and then I'll see if we're having an increase or decrease over the longer term. So that's pretty handy. Here we have our contracts, and this is just our trade contracts, which we already looked at. This right here is something that has just come in. Executive decisions. Now somebody has uh, come to me with a little chat window and said, we have some refugees, it's a real big group, and it's 25 people, but we gotta feed those people, and if there's disease, you know, what are we gonna do? That's a large number of people to come in all at once. So is it safe to let them in or not? Um, I'm not sure if this is what they will give me or if this is what I need to support them. I certainly don't have any bread. So this is a little bit confusing for the first time. I'm going to have to guess that this is what they're offering. Because um, if I hit the check mark and some bread appears, then I know that they brought that with them. If I hit the check mark and there's a problem, okay, this is what they were asking for. I obviously do not have 1,125 bread. <laughs> However, I do think that I could feed them if I put them on food duty. I have got enough food buildings that aren't really being used that much. We could use some more hunters, we can use some more gatherers, we even have room for some more orchardists. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and say, yes, you can come. Probably have to unpause the game to see the effect. Okay, so that is what they brought with them. They brought quite a bit of bread, which is awesome. And now I have 25 extra workers. So let's immediately throw them all on food, right? Just so much food. Uh, it doesn't tend to update these things until... There we go. So all of them have just been thrown on food duties. Perfect. Uh, I can redistribute them later once we're sure we have enough food for everyone. Which I'm sure we do. You don't need uh, everybody to be gathering food all the time. 
So our trade, our trades have been delivered here. We delivered 10,000 fruit to, and we got quite a good amount of money in return. Oh, okay, so we've got another contract. I got it. It just came in, so this is a perfect opportunity to see this. So these people want two shipments of 2,600 wood. I think we can do it. We already have a wood shipment, which is quite high. However, uh, if we put more people on gathering wood, we can gather wood pretty quickly. So I'm gonna say yes to this. And the way it goes, apparently, is you get the money up front. At least that's what it said. And then if you fail to deliver, you will lose reputation with them. They won't take the money back, but they'll be less likely to give you a contract next time around, right? So now what I need to do is make sure Let's maybe take some people off uh, smelting and stuff. Let's make sure my lumberjack's filled up, which it now is. Just to make sure uh, we have as many people working as possible. Meanwhile, we're still building the stone quarry. They've been working on it for ages. Then this is a building that was damaged in that fire, so we want to repair that building so we can use it again. I wanted to build another house because we need more workers. Actually, I'm going to bump that down the priority list uh, and put the builder's hut up in instead. We've got another proposal. Firewood. Two shipments of 1,500 firewood. I think our firewood is going up overall, but we have been trading some of it. But those trades are done now, so I think I can afford to do this. So I'm gonna say yes. I hope I'm not- I hope I'm not biting off more than I can chew here. I might have to start saying no to some of these. Might need some more log splitters. Hmm. This is- uh, log splitters make firewood, lumber millers make lumber. So, we've got 55 days of food remaining. I'm gonna keep an eye on that for a few game days. Unfortunately, there isn't a really clear indicator of when a game day is passing, like how much time is left in the current day. You just kind of have to watch this and wait for it to change. I could do with like a, a little indicator of like the sun going down or whatever. Uh, 56 days, all right, so we have appear to be gathering more food than we need, which is great. Awesome, and we have an extra laborer. How do we get an extra laborer? Okay, let's stick that laborer on... What do we need more? Firewood or lumber? Let's stick them on lumber, I think. I think so. All right, how's that stone? Because we're gonna need some workers for the stone quarry as well. Maybe I will put the house up a bit. We've been doing okay with only two builders so far. Almost done. Very exciting, this is a brand new thing for us have not had access to stone, this unlocks a lot of new possibilities. Unfortunately, I won't be able to put too many uh, workers on it. Because we do need a lot of people on food. All right, so now we have this here, stone cutter. 40, you can put up to 40 stone cutters. Well, we don't, we're not gonna have enough people for that. I'm gonna put one of the miners on there. Uh, maybe one of the gatherers. Just get a couple of people on there so we can slowly start to build up s some stone resources. I think will probably show up here once they come. And you can take a closer look at all this stuff. So you can see all the math, which I'm not interested in, and you can see the progress, so they're working. The more workers you have, the faster this bar will go. And that's how that works. So we just have to wait and see how much stone we'll get in a batch. And then I can start taking a look at more buildings and seeing uh, which ones are gonna need to be the highest priority. How are we doing with our resources here? How's our trade going? We're making all our shipments. There's one shipment left of this large wood shipment. But you can see we are increasing our wood stock over time. They, they do cut down the trees pretty fast, those folk. They're good woodcutters is what they are. There we go. So we got 12 stone blocks. It's not a lot. For an example, uh, if we want to make a granary, we need 300 stone blocks. So we are going to need to put more workers on stone at some point. Meanwhile, our food is going up, which is awesome. We're already out of bread. <laughs> uh, I think eventually we can unlock a way to make our own bread, but for now we would have to trade for it. But I think for now we'll just leave leave this. Okay, contract completed successfully. Favor with them has grown by two. Awesome. We're doing great. Our treasury is looking great. Maybe I can see um, what we can do here. There's too much numbers. If I if I want say a thousand bread. That will cost five gold. That's not that much, actually. What if I want a thousand fish as well? That's also not that much. We don't have any clothes. Let's get some clothes. Oh, those are more expensive. Let's get 500 clothes. Hopefully those would last a long time, right? Ooh, that's a lot of money. So take that off. 
What if we just want a hundred clothes? Thirty. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. Lumber, meat, medicine, marble, steel. I don't think we have any use for these anyway. I don't know about the the medicine. I wouldn't mind having some medicine. Seems like it's a good idea to have some medicine. And the rest of the stuff I can easily make myself. I'm gonna submit that. Oh, select caravan. Old trusty. Okay, you're the only one I got. You go off trading. So now I've got to wait six days to get my stuff. Oh, and I've got a new proposal. Pause for a moment here. They want more wood. I feel like that's going to be pushing our wood supplies by too much. So I'm going to say sorry. Sorry, but I can't accept this proposal. we got to look after our own people. We need wood too, you know? This has got one shipment remaining of 2,600. It's going to be quite a lot. Uh, but then we can start building up our wood stockpile again, which is obviously good. Quite a lot of fruit. We got so many seed bundles. Can I sell seed bundles? Doesn't look like it. Ooh, I've got an agriculture point. Again, I don't know how long it takes for that. However, this is what we can unlock. We can unlock fruit, fruit seed collection, getting more seed bundles. I absolutely do not need more seed bundles. Or vegetable growth, which will allow me to uh, build. This doesn't even take any seed bundles, but it does need a lot of stone. Uh, but yeah, I, I definitely want uh, vegetable gardens because right now we're only getting vegetables by foraging and it's not very efficient So I'm gonna unlock that and we're gonna go towards uh, <laughs> Garden gnomes <laughs> Makes crops go faster. I love it growth potions chicken wire goodness Yeah um, So that's taken care of how are the buildings doing they're building a house so soon we're gonna have more workers so anyway, yeah, you, you can see how the game works, I think, overall. Once this house is built, we will have five new workers, which we can use uh, for whatever we need. I'll probably stick them on stone cutting, if I'm honest. It also looks like our food is going down now instead of up, which is not the best. It's not what we're after. Well, now that we're pretty much done trading the wood, I'm gonna put more people on getting food. It's amazing how many people you need to get food. I think eventually you'll be able to upgrade some things so that they're more efficient, or you can get technology that makes them more efficient. You can't upgrade gathering huts. You can upgrade the hunting lodge, but you need stuff that we don't have yet. Orchard can't be upgraded. Vegetable farm, uh, we can't build yet because we don't have enough stone. So I can't see whether there are upgrades. But yeah, we really want to work towards a more efficient food gathering or food production, I think. It's going to be very important. But when the caravan comes back, we'll get a little bit of a bonus in the food. Not too much, though. But it'll be a little bit of a, a special treat for my people here. So these, these have quite a while left before their last shipment, which is great. Gives me some time to build up the stocks. Warehouse is about two-thirds of the way full. We're okay for now, I think. Oh, I'm still paused. Whoops, I didn't mean to stay paused. Vegetable farm now available in the food section. Except I don't have enough stone. So we gotta wait. Okay, so this house is going to be done in a couple of days. You can go fast forward, by the way, and at the start, you absolutely need to fast forward quite a lot, because it takes like a month to build stuff sometimes. Uh, but once that labor comes in, we'll stick... Maybe the first one will stick on stone cutter. Maybe the first two will stick on stone cutter. Uh, workers will slowly come in. Workers should be slowly coming in. We built the house. Oh no, are these houses being used up by the, uh... Oh no. I think these houses are being used up by the refugees who came in. Which means we need to build a lot more houses. Before we can get any new workers. Ooh. I see. Yeah, we have 130 out of 110. That's actually our maximum. Oh goodness. So yeah, this is gonna take a while. New trade contract. They want fruit. We've got loads of fruit, actually, and that's not very much that they're asking for. I'm gonna say yes to that. That shouldn't be an issue. Oh, man, we need so many houses. <laughs> but I think uh, upgrading the houses to a second floor, which doubles their, their amount, takes a lot more resources than just building new houses. So pretty much just gotta, just gotta build a whole bunch of new houses. <coughs> And uh, get those people, get those people housed. 
I hope that's not going to be detrimental to the health of our society here. We can also upgrade our town center. I already have the infirmary upgrade, which is supposed to help against, um, against disease. We can build a communal garden with a little bit more lumber and a lot more coin. That's a little expensive. And these things are definitely out of... Oh, this one is actually not that far out of reach. Town bell. Just aesthetics, though. I'm not. That's not a priority right now. We need everybody to have a home first. Now this, yeah, this is just aesthetics, so we're not too worried about that. Okay, so we now have, we can have eight builders instead of just two, which will really speed along all these projects. I don't know if I was expected to make the builders hot earlier, but it requires a lot of iron. And at the start, you don't even have access to iron. So it's one of the first buildings they tell you you can make, and then they're like, but you can't make it yet. And it kind of feels like, okay, well then why did you put that on my list? Why don't you just wait until I have the resources? <laughs> Come on now. So, how is the lumber doing? I'm gonna bring this back down to, to two days. Okay, we are producing lumber faster than it's going out. Or we are we are producing lumber, I guess. Uh, do we still have more lumber trades? We don't, so that's gonna gradually increase. Oh, somebody wants more wood again. They want a total of 9,000 wood. I don't think we can afford it, I'm really sorry. That's just not possible. Hey, but our shipment came in. We get bread and fish now. I'm sure they won't last very long. They, the, the people tend to take these preferred foods <laughs> over time. All right, so waiting for this house to be done and then we can put some workers on building to get more houses. Oh no, that's right, we're not gonna get more workers. So actually I'm gonna need to take workers off of something. We don't, we're not using that much iron. I'm gonna take uh, these ones and put them on building so we can get these houses built real quick. Right? It'll be much faster now. So this is going to bring it up to 20, 25, 30. So this is the baseline. And then we'll need one more, which requires more lumber than we have. How's the firewood doing? It's gone down, but is that because we're trading it? It might be. There's only one shipment remaining. It might also be because we're using the firewood. We are using firewood for uh, smelting the iron, I think, but we don't have that many people working on iron right now. And I don't want to take people off of lumber milling. And I don't really want to take people off of food because I'm not sure how, okay. I, I think food is still going up a little bit. Let's take a couple of gatherers off, put them on lumber. Cause that is kind of a priority right now so that we can get more houses. It's really not much faster, is it, with four builders instead of two? Oh, two of them are idle. Okay, hold on. Is there a maximum of two builders that can work on something? Because in that case, I'll put those I'll put those builders back on something else. Interesting. I'm not sure how that works, and it hasn't been explained very clearly. No collapse building. Okay. So yeah, I don't I don't know. I'm not sure how that works. Devs, if you're if you're watching this video, maybe leave some comments and explain some of these things that are a little bit unclear. How can we tell uh, how quickly our tech points are building up? And um, how, how do the builders work? We need to know. I've got, why do I have one general laborer not doing anything? Uh, let's put you... Let's put you on log splitting as well. I don't know, I don't know where you came from. Masons, every project's headed by a mason. Yeah, I don't know why only two builders would work on that house. And if only two of them are working in the house, why didn't two others work on another house? Is it only because I only have one mason? And I have no way to get more masons. It's a very in-depth game, my friends. It's a very in-depth game. How are we doing? We are not even close to having enough lumber yet. We do have another trade contract. Again, it's wood. Five shipments of 700. We're not massively strong on wood right now. Especially since I'm cutting up a lot of it into... into uh... Oh, I meant to put that into lumber. I think I, put, I think I put some of it into log splitting. I think I meant to put that into lumber. I mean, it is going up. We have eight days to decide. 
seven days. Oh no, <laughs> the clock is ticking. They're not actually paying that much for it. Um, I'm gonna say no. Just let me say sorry. I've had to say no to a lot of contracts, but we, you know, we can only afford to give away so much stuff, honestly. So pretty soon, oh, okay, in 20 days it will be winter. And in winter, these orchards will stop working, and I'll have to redistribute and uh, get food in other ways. Actually, I might want to start working on another hunter's... Do I have any? No, it's a firewood camp. Maybe get another hunting lodge built. So that we can have more people hunting, because we don't have... I mean, we have plenty of food in reserves, but we don't want to have to go through all of our reserves during the winter. I'd like to try to keep it even, even during the winter. Try to prevent any loss... Alright, um, I might call this video, uh, I might call this video done. I think you all have the idea, we've, we've, I think I've pretty much explained everything that I know about the game so far. Oh, one other thing, it does not appear that the game saves automatically, so every once in a while you gotta click this little save. <laughs> now, I don't know, it's possible that it does save automatically, but if it does, it doesn't tell you. So I am not sure how that works. Alright, we're definitely going way up on the, the food. Get some more wood. Low on wood now. Um, but yeah, so that is Prosperity. It's a very in-depth game, so if you like games like this, uh, here you go. <laughs> here, here's one game. Uh, this is available on Steam, and I, I hope you enjoyed it. And of course, if you didn't enjoy it, if this isn't your cup of tea, if you're just not interested in this game, do not worry, my friends. You know that I'll be back soon with another new indie game. And you never know, that one might just be your new favorite game of all time. Thank you so much for watching, folks, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching my video on the game Prosperity, which is out on early access on Steam right now. And may your days be bountiful and prosperous. Like the game. <laughs> Patrons get it. <laughs>